So today I'm with Sebastian. Sebastian, how old are you? 21. Sebastian, how long have you been out here lost in Phoenix? Uh, I've been out here for like two, almost two years. How were you introduced two years ago to blues? Um, well, my friend, my homie, he like, he, he like pressured me into like kind of trying it basically and what he just, uh, well, I just, he was, he was like calling me names basically and telling me like if I don't, if I don't do it, like this and that. So I like, he basically pushed me into doing it and that's how I, like I started. Peer pressure? Yeah. So he was never really your friend, right? No. Does your family know that you're out here? Yeah. How do they feel about you being out here? Terrible. They say they can't. They say that that's my my uh, grandparents and stuff. They worry a lot about us, and they say like they can't they can't sleep at night, and like they're always thinking about us every time she's at work and stuff. And my mom just like always trying to talk us into like detoxing and getting clean. Who's us? Me and my two brothers. You have two other brothers that are out here too? How old are they? Uh, my, oldest, my oldest brother is um, 22. No, he's 23, he turned 23 this year. And my youngest, my younger brother, he's um, 19. So all three brothers out here with the same thing. Are you guys all together and diff all scattered? Yeah, we're right, we're right here together. We stay. We try to stay together, you know. We like to separate, just in case. Um, if you wouldn't have tried this two years ago, what would you be doing right now? Mm -hmm. Well, probably. I mean, I probably would have been clean. Probably would have been like working and stuff, you know. Doing um, what? Finishing, um, probably going to college and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a job? Yeah. What do you miss the most about a normal life? Um, just, honestly, just feeling normal, having to wake up, um, normal, you know, not having to go chase the drug, having to see how you're going, how you're going to get it, you know, like. See, see what ways that you can do it to earn money to get it. It's just, uh, I, uh, I just get really tired of it sometimes. I've, I've just been thinking a lot about it. How much longer would you be out here? Honestly, I'm not sure. I've, I've been thinking about quitting um, re recently, so I mean, I'm pretty sure soon because, like I said, I'm I don't think this is like the last time I want to keep living, you know, I want to change for the better, do better. Don't your uh, grandparents, your mother, don't they deserve better? Of course they do. You deserve better. This is kind of like a mistake, huh? Getting stuck with this? Yeah. What's the youngest person you've ever seen out here? <clears throat> probably 15. No, 14. Probably 14. Yeah, 14. Why do you think young people are attracted to this lifestyle or these pills? What's so alluring to them? I think it's just the popularity, you know? Everybody, like, they see everybody doing it, so they, like, probably want to try it. They want to act cool, be all cool. Where are these people doing it? Like, in school or what? Basically, anywhere. Any, you, you come outside, you'll see anybody doing it anywhere, honestly. How old were you when you first saw somebody do it? Uh, almost 19. Yeah, so, but, but I've seen young people, like, the youngest I've seen, it's 13 out here doing this. 13? Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah, you, I can. You've seen a 14-year-old out here. And that's just a year, a year older. Yeah. So where do these young people see it? Like, where who's offering it to them, right? Where are they getting it from, you know? Sebastian, do you think you're going to need help to get out of here? Or you think you could do it all by yourself? Honestly, I feel like I could do it myself. Um, 
I recently, um, like, people always talk about getting withdrawals and this and that, and, like, I recently, um, um, got locked up, and, um, I would do, like, a lot of pills a day, and when I was, I was, they had me in there for almost, like, three weeks, and I, I had no withdrawals at all, like, I didn't go through anything. So, because you weren't in pain, you so, think I mean, that you could do it yourself? Yeah, and I feel like I could also do it like with with support too. Support from like professional help or family or family. Do you think they've given up on you, or do you think they would help you if you asked for it? I think they still would help me. They what they they talk to they try to talk to me almost every day about it. How do you talk to them? you go home and you talk to them, or how do you reach how do you reach out to them? Mm, uh, no, they usually just come and um, like look for us. They know where you're at. What high school did you go to? Um, it wasn't like a it wasn't like a public school. It was like um, a little high charter, school, little yeah, charter school in Thompson. Okay, and uh, out of your group of friends, are you the only one that got stuck out here, or there's others? No, there's a couple people. When I just by talking to you, I can tell that you regret making that decision to, to try this. I can, I can see it in your face. You seem like a real good kid that doesn't belong out here. You're like a fish out of water. Like you don't, the street life isn't for you. I think, I think it's good. I don't think it's good that you're out of here, but if you're gonna be out of here, I think it's good that you're with your brothers to help you because you seem lost. You really don't seem like you're comfortable being out here. You don't like it? What's the worst part of being out, about being out here? All the problems I gotta go through. Such as trying to hustle up money? Yeah, just like people with, people that you gotta deal with. It's just people don't like you and just issues every day, right? Yeah. They're problems. It's really not safe out here, right? No. I wouldn't say so. Don't you miss sleeping on a bed, taking a shower every day, eating every day? Of course. Seeing your family every day? Do you think you're a slave? You're not a slave to this drug? Or are you in control? Um, I won't say I'm in control fully, but... Halfway. What advice would you give to... A 13, 14 year old Seb Sebastian that's home, that's lost. Well, what somebody offers them, uh, one of their friends, quote unquote friends at school offers them a pill. What should they say? Don't, don't try it. It'll be the worst thing you do. Trust me. I've been through, I've been through so many problems. It's like, it's not worth it. You have a lot of emotions inside. It's okay to let them out. Okay? What, um... If your family sees this, what message do you have for them? I love them and I always keep trying. You miss them? You love them? Of course. When will you go home forever? Soon. Soon? Soon? Promise? Promise. Are you going to take your brothers with you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. You're going to try? <laughs> you guys came out here together, go together, okay? Of course. Sebastian, you seem like a really good kid. You really do. You seem very, very authentic, genuine, and the street, like you really don't belong on the street. You should be working. You should be uh, building a future for yourself, okay? Helping your mom, helping your, your grandparents. They're probably older. They're probably trying to enjoy the rest of their life with their, their, their grandchildren, right? Yeah. You, you already know all this stuff, right? I'm not lecturing you. You already know these things, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yes. And you know what it is? is you're, you're caught in a vicious cycle. It's hard to get out of, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm saying thank you for having the courage to share your story. Because by you sharing your story... You're actually gonna save somebody's life out there. That's truly gonna happen. So you should be proud of that. 
and your family when they see this they should be proud of that that you're shedding light on a big issue so that somebody could can can learn to not come out here okay so again thank you very much i'm gonna give you my card with my number on it so you can call me if you ever need to write a treatment or somebody to talk to okay mm -hmm. i'm also going to give you this uh I'm also gonna give you a box of Narcan. Do you know what Narcan is? Yeah. Uh, it counteracts the effects of uh, of an OD, okay? And uh, this Thank is, you. yeah, you're welcome. This is also a donated uh, bag, blessing bag for one of my subscribers. Can you look in there really quick to see if those are items you could use? Blanket. Yeah, blanket. Wipes. And some toiletries, right? Yep. So, Sebastian, please stay safe. God bless you. God bless you too. We'll talk soon, okay? Thank you.